Plans for a self-sustainable city of the future were presented at the Knowledge Summit 2019 in Dubai last month. And here's why that's important. The Italian firm Luca Corci Architects have proposed Vertical City, a project involving a self-sustaining zero-energy building that intends to house 25,000 people. The futuristic city proposes to be settled into the seabed close to the mainland, accessible by land, sea and air. The cylindrical residential building would be clad in photovoltaic glazing, a technology that produces electricity from sunlight. Natural light and ventilation will be promoted through hexagonal openings in the building. The vertical city targets low poverty, no noise, no pollution, desalinization of seawater and producing 1,144,500 kilowatt hours of daily solar energy. According to the Italian firm, this new interpretation of urban development would allow its residents to be part of a healthier lifestyle through the connection with the surrounding natural elements. It would also allow residents to rethink the traditional concept of community and society. According to Luca Corci Architects, the 750-metre-tall residential skyscraper would consist of 10 modular layers, each layer consisting of 18 floors, including a mixture of homes, offices, stores and other facilities. The building would also offer more than 200,000 square metres of green space, which includes the public garden at the top of the building. In addition to the 25,000 people housed within the central residential tower, the vertical city as a whole, including the three adjacent towers that house offices, government departments, healthcare facilities and educational institutions, would service over 100,000 people who would travel to the city for work, school and medical care. Luca Corocci described the plans as a new way of living. He said the proposal would be more sustainable, more interconnected and most importantly, reduce poverty. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.